Was the evangelical leader and a former Baton Rouge police officer. Uh, first and foremost, uh, Tony, our prayers go out to you and, and the Baton Rouge police family. Uh, to another horrific scene of violence in America. I, I think we all know that social media certainly has its downsides, particularly uh, the spread of evil and hatred. But what is President Obama getting wrong with respect to maybe the buck stopping at his desk as well? Well, Charles, I mean, we have seen a, a more of a polarized society. And I look back when I was on the street, it's been about 25 years ago. Uh, I was both with the East Baton Rouge Sheriff's Office and the city police at uh, different times. And uh, we have seen, I talked to some officers yesterday who were on the scene. In fact, I was in Baton Rouge yesterday. And there is a, there's a great concern. And there is, a, there is a concern that this president has sown these seeds of distrust and division. I mean, we go back to 2009, uh, after his first year, back to Harvard, uh, where there was the arrest of a uh, professor there who was uh, entering a house 911 call and remember that led to the uh, to the beer summit where the president sat down with the police but there was an assumption made that there was a racially motivated arrest that's played out over and over again when the facts are made clear we realize that was not the case this has sown more racial division in this country and as a result as we've seen from Ferguson and elsewhere we're putting the lives of people we're dividing the citizens from the police and that's dangerous Tony, uh, a lot of people say it would be cynical at this point. Uh, nevertheless, if you had President Obama's ear, what could he do in, in, a, in the amount of time that he has left in office to, to change this? Do you think just coming up and perhaps having one serious day of recognizing police officers without throwing anything else in the mix, talking about how they step out there for us, how they protect us, really honoring the men and women in blue, could that go a step toward fixing some of this? Well, I think it could probably, it certainly couldn't hurt, but I think the mo what has been created here has become so large and it's spread across the country as a cancer. And I was say yesterday, I, I was uh, actually in Baton Rouge because I was ready to do a, uh, leading a church service. I was preaching and I got the word of uh, the shooting of these officers just as I was about to baptize the, uh, the son of a city police officer. And I'll have to tell you, Charles, where we stand as a nation today, I think the one thing that can bring us together is our common faith in, in the God who created us. And I think, if anything, the, the president needs to call the nation to pray and pray to the God that our forefathers prayed to. We need unity right now more than we need anything. And we've got to put aside these racial divides, these ethnic divides, even the political divides. We've got to be, if we're going to be a nation that abides by the law, we have to uphold the law. And that starts all the way at the top. That was reflected in the platform that's going to be adopted this afternoon. I put language last week, not knowing that this was going to happen in Baton Rouge, but it has. It's time to stop it. Tell us more about this language, Tony, uh, because I hadn't heard anything about it. Well, I put language into the platform last week uh, that will be adopted formally today, this afternoon on the convention floor, that uh, calls on the next president to stop sowing these seeds of discord and distrust between the police and the people that they're sworn to protect and to serve. And that starts with being law abiders. And we've seen from this administration lawlessness, which ha has, has sown this distrust of authority. And then we've seen the president, again, in his administration, jumped to conclusions before the facts were known and has made the police the bad guys. I've spoken to the yeah. officers uh, that were tracking the case uh, in Baton Rouge, most recent case. When this is all said and done, the investigation is clear and the evidence is seen by the public, the shooting was justified. Tragic, but justified. It, it, it's unreasonable for the president of the United States to interject himself in issues like this and inflame the divide in our communities. Well, one nation under God, indivisible. That, that would be a, a pretty good uh, way to start. I, pre I appreciate your thoughts, and, and I, I'm really happy you were able to get that in the platform. I think most of our viewers appreciate it. Thank you very much, Tony. Thanks, Charles. Good to be